I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we have taken a couple of examples where we have trinomials which are really unfactorable. Now here we have x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1. If you apply product and sum technique, 1 is product of 1 times 1 but when you add 1's and 1 you don't get 1, you get 2. Therefore we say that this trinomial is not factorable. Now the question is how to factor it? So there are different strategies. One of them, which is very interesting, is being shown here. So let us think like this. We have x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1. If I have to factor, let us say, uh, let's try this out. What is x square uh, minus 1 whole square equals to? Right? So if I write x square minus 1 whole square, I will get x to the power of 4 minus 2x square. Uh, plus plus one. Now, if I compare with this, I I have only x square. I do not have minus two x square. Okay. So so to get minus two x square, I have to add uh, and subtract minus three x square. But three x square is not a perfect square. So what we will do is we'll try with x square plus one. So I'm showing you how to come to the right result, right? Now, now if you see, we get x square plus 2x square plus 1. That can be written as x square plus 1 whole square. But what do we have? We have only x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1. How do I get 2x square? Well, to get 2x square, we can add and subtract x square. So that is what we will do. So now it can work. So we will write this as x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1 and we will add and subtract 1x square. Okay. Now adding subtracting x square is not changing the trinomial, right? We have the same expression. Correct. But this helps us to modify and then factor. So we get this x to the power of 4 plus I'm combining these two now. Uh, let us say these two I'll combine and I can write this as 2x square plus 1 and I have minus x square. As you saw here, x to the power of 4 plus 2x square plus 1 could be written as x square plus 1 whole square, right? And then we have minus x square. At this stage, we can apply difference of squares, you know, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now, a for us is x square plus 1 and b is x. So, let's apply this formula and we can write this as x square plus 1 plus x times x square plus 1 minus x. I'll just rearrange. It is always better to write with highest degree first. So we'll rearrange and write this as x square plus x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1. So that is the factored form of the given quartic trinomial. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.